The Seven Snowmen by Pika Nani. Pika Nani is the pen name of Deepika Murthy. The story which we are going to read is from her book Little Indians, published in 2013. The book contains realistic stories from 15 different states in India. Let's read the introduction and find what is the chapter about. 11 year old Jia, her father Hitesh, and his brothers Akhilesh and Dinesh are on a trek in the hills of Uttarakhand. The weather changes suddenly and their way is blocked by snow. They cannot even go back. They take shelter in Sivcharan's dhaba. Sivcharan and his two children Om and Alka are also trapped because of the heavy snowfall. Everyone sleeps on mattresses on the floor in the basement. We learn that a little girl named Jia along with her father Hitesh and two uncles Akhilesh and Dinesh are on a long journey on foot in the hills of Uttarakhand. Suddenly while walking they find a change in weather condition and their way is blocked by snow. Now they were unable to move ahead or go back and thus they were stuck. In order to protect themselves, they had to take shelter in a dhaba which belonged to a person named Shivcharan. Shivcharan along with his children Om and Alka was also trapped there because of heavy snowfall. At night, all of them slept on mattresses on the floor in a room which was constructed underground. By early the next morning, it had stopped snowing, but the way to the valley was still blocked. Jia shyly joined Om and Alka in a game of snakes and ladders. She spent the rest of the day happily playing and chatting with them. The next morning, they found that there was no more snowfall, but still they couldn't move ahead because the wave of the valley was still blocked by snow. The children, on the other hand, had a good time playing games, talking and making fun. The next morning, they heard a loud rumbling noise. Akhilesh opened the trap door, but the front door wouldn't open. The snow had blocked it from outside. The next day, they suddenly heard a very loud noise outside. Jia's uncle Akhilesh tried hard to open the trap door. That means a small door leading to that underground room. But he couldn't open as it was blocked by snow from outside. Then Shivcharan pulled open a window and jumped out. The others followed him. And then Jia saw it a helicopter disappearing into the sky. They waved, shouted, screamed and ran till their feet got stuck in the snow, but it was too late. Shivcharan, the owner of the dhaba, somehow managed to open a window. One by one, all of them managed to jump out of that room. Jia then noticed that the loud rumbling sound which they heard was of a helicopter. By the time they noticed it, the helicopter also disappeared into the sky. They tried to wave, shout, scream and run but it was too late and their feet got stuck in the snow. For the first time in two days, the group felt hopeless. Till now, they had been hopeful that they would be rescued but they had missed their chance. The men now decided to take turns waiting outside the house if the helicopter came looking for them again. So since two days they are stuck there and now they started feeling hopeless because their hope of someone rescuing them almost went to vain as they missed a very good chance. So now they decided to step outside the house one by one so that if the helicopter comes again searching for them, they could save their lives. But it was a difficult time. The sun refused to come out. 
it went on snowing and they had to remove the snow from the front of the house every now and then the men suffered from colds and stiff joints the children helped them in small ways making tea chopping vegetables and tidying up the basement but standing outside or staying inside the house was not at all easy for them in that shivering cold and without the sunshine the snowfall was continuous and they have to keep on removing the snow from in front of their house every now and then the men felt pain in their knees elbows and fingers and were unable to move it easily the little kids helped them by making tea chopping vegetables and tidying up the basement then came day 4 there was still no sign of a rescue team and the road was still blocked why don't you go out and play said hitesh to the children it hasn't snowed since last night so since last 3 days they were stuck without any ray of hope and even on the fourth day there was no chance of any change in their condition in order to divert the minds jia's father hitesh told the children to go out and play as it was not snowing since last night out in the snow om and alka showed jia how to pack the snow as if they were making laddus then add more snow to make a big round snowball it was too cold for them to throw snowballs at each other so the children threw them up in the air instead and watched in delight as they crashed to the ground om and jia started making laddus with the snow then they added some more snow to make a big round snowball as it was very cold so instead of throwing the snow at each other they threw it up in the air and when it crashed to the ground they felt great pleasure and happiness let's make a snowman said jia suddenly then she made a rather big snowball she rolled another slightly smaller and placed it on the first then she made an even smaller one for the head she used pebbles for the eyes and a twig for the nose she shaped a smile with little stones so suddenly jia came up with an idea of making a snowman with the help of the snow let's see how she makes a snowman so at first jia made a big snowball and then placed a small one on top of it for the head she made an even smaller ball then with the help of pebbles she made the eyes and used a twig for the nose and then jia shaped a smile using little stones our own snowman announced jia and the children clapped her father uncles and shiv charan also joined them and everyone began building their own snowman the children were very happy looking at the snowman and thus all of them started clapping Jia's father and uncles along with Shiv Charan joined them and all of them started making their own snowman. Soon seven snowmen of different sizes stood in a semicircle. All of them had hats, hats, woolen caps, broken buckets and an upturned vegetable basket. They were all now very tired and went back inside to rest. except for poor dinesh whose turn it was to be outdoors they were successful in making seven snowmen of different sizes all the snowmen stood in a semicircle wearing hats woolen caps broken buckets and a vegetable basket which was turned upside down then they went back to take rest as all of them were tired walking for so long but dinesh had to stay outdoors because it was his turn why don't you also take a nap i will sit inside near the window the snowman will keep me company said jia to dinesh but jia said dinesh to go indoors and take rest for some time in the meantime she will sit near the window along with the snowman's company 
Jia's father was the first to hear the whirring sound. He woke the others up and they all rushed out. Jia had curled up near the window fast asleep. Not again, Dinesh thought. The helicopter was flying away from them. Jia's father suddenly heard a whirring sound and soon he managed to wake everyone up and move out. On the other hand, Jia was fast asleep near the window. Dinesh didn't want it to miss this second chance as he saw the helicopter flying away from them. Jia woke up too and went outside. Everyone stared at the empty sky. Hello, said a stranger's voice behind her suddenly making her jump. Standing with the snowman were three soldiers from the Indian army. Jia too woke up and ran outside to see what was going on. She was very scared hearing a stranger's voice from behind her and thus jumped. But surprisingly, the strangers were three soldiers from the Indian Army. This was the rescue team looking for seven people. They had been flying above the mountains when they saw the snowman. Could they be the seven missing people? They went to look. Yes, after they found them, the helicopter soon returned and lifted them with the help of cables. As the helicopter was flying with the rescue team, they saw seven snowmen which according to them might be indicative of seven people being stuck there. So they landed down to find out for the same. And yes, they were successful as they found Jia, Hitesh, Akhilesh, Dinesh, Om, Alka and Shivcharan. Then, the helicopter soon lifted them up and returned back, saving the lives of the seven people.